calm the f down. Uh, Chat GPT and AI are not going to take your jobs anytime soon, and there are three reasons why. First, have you seen Chat GPT and other AI software? Do you know that most of the time it doesn't even know what day or time it is right now? Don't believe me? Go, go ahead and ask it. It cannot even read a simple text file or remember information that you gave it like two days ago. And when it gives you that great, great medical advice, have you gone to a doctor and checked up if that was actually good advice? Because a lot of times it isn't. And you can have many, many, many examples of how ChatGPT and other AI bots are just not very smart. And a lot of them, well, ChatGPT is now on version five, five versions over many, many years and the best programmers in the world, and yet nothing, nothing. Tesla, remember how Tesla said that all electric cars that it makes are gonna be fully self-driving? Remember that? That's been like almost a decade ago and they're nowhere near close to that. They keep promising it every year. I think they kind of got tired of that and maybe stopped, but it's not happening yet. Now, I'm not saying it will never ever happen, but not anytime soon, which brings me to the second point. Remember, at least some of us still remember, I'm almost 50, when the internet came around. Then it was like, oh my God, we're all gonna lose our jobs. These computers and an internet, how can we compete, you know? We used to have to go to library and now everything's... Guess what? Not only it didn't take the jobs away, it created many other jobs. The number one job that everybody thought that would go right away would be the cashiers at the grocery stores, remember? And not until, what, two or three years ago, they actually finally started building and having those uh, automatic self-checkout stations. Well, you know what happened with that. One, a lot of people don't like it. They're too confusing. They'd rather stand in line. And secondly, what do you see at every single self-checkout area at the grocery store? A human being consistently keeping themselves busy trying to help customers who are having problems with these robots that's been around for what 30 fucking years now and still can't get it right same thing is going to happen to ai it is just not going to progress that fast and that far to take all these jobs away and it will create many and already has many many other jobs which brings me to the third and probably most important part that a lot of people don't know about Remember how I said that ChatGPT can really even tell time sometimes? Well, when you're a software engineer and you're being taught how to do it on the first day of your software engineering 101 class, nowadays probably in high school, print time, print time. That's the first thing you learn when you're, you want to become a, a software engineer. ChatGPT can't do that. Why is that? Well, a lot of you guys, think that software engineers are smart, that Google and Facebook and all of them are hiring this amazing top of the line MIT graduates with master degrees in software engineering, computer science, and they are, except for they are not very smart. And again, you don't have to really take my word for it. Just look at the software that we're using on a daily basis, how stupid it is after all these billions of dollars and now at this point decades of development they still can get it a lot of times you submit a form and it doesn't work something that we i thought would get right in 1992. why because the software engineers are not very smart i was part of silicon valley for many years and i can tell you for example no self-respecting software engineer would ever work for google because of google's hiring practices and i can tell you more about it uh, in, in another video. But the way Google hires and Facebook hires, it, it's, it, it's counterproductive to creating a pool of talented engineers. And now the second wave have been taught um, by the MITs of the world, which everybody thinks are great schools. Yeah, if you want to know the software engineering as a mathematical problem solving, yeah, that could be. But as far as creating products, that work, it's the worst.
not, nothing worse than an MIT graduate that's now a software engineer in charge of anything really. And then of course, there are project managers and people who are in charge of user interface. That's even worse. As, as, and as consumers, I probably don't need to convince you that they have failed us over and over and over and over again. So when you have dumb people creating the software and even dumber people managing the user interface and how products work in the real world, well, you get ChatGPT and everything else that we have around us. Because you have been frustrated with technology not just many times this year or this month or this week. I bet by the time you watch this video, you've already gotten irritated or just beat down by some part of the technology that has to be part of your day and yet it's not working. And you're either frustrated or you just gave up and, and, and accepted how shitty it is. So for those of you who think like, oh my God, AI, it's so smart and it's gonna take my job. No, no on both counts, you're fine. Now, does it mean that you need to stay away? Absolutely not. If anything, you're an idiot if you're not trying to keep up. Yes, ChatGPT is stupid, but if you're smart, if you know how to use it, you can make it useful. For example, in my case, you know, I like keeping track of my daily vital signs. I don't even know why, but I do. Um, now, for some reason, it can't fucking upload its own file and update it and whatever. You know what? I do it for it. And yeah, take pictures of my, you know, blood pressure machine and my thermometer and my uh, scale, and then it just transferred it to numbers, and I just do it and upload it. So I do half of his job, but the other half, it does it for me, so it does help me in my daily life. And I don't get frustrated when I get in front of a chat GPT. I know I'm dealing with a, a drunk five-year-old, and that's and it is what it is. So please stop worrying, but also please start learning chat GPT, some of the imaging generation software. You can even write a song nowadays, so have some fun, become an artist. But it will never ever in your lifetime take your job without you getting a better one because of AI. If you're looking to buy an electric car, there is a brand new way how to do it. Of course, it is using AI. Go to ChatGPT, look for the app store. It's called GPT. So look for the EV buyer's guide. And this app I have configured specifically for you for free. There's a link in the description of this video as well.